We was meant to start Raw this week with an open challenge by Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. I say meant because it was Finn Balor who launched an assault on Seth. The attack went to the outside and there was multiple coup de gras by Finn Balor, like three or four. Seth was hurt. I don't know why Finn just didn't use this as the opportunity to be the guy who answers the open challenge, to be fair. But nonetheless, we'd go backstage. Seth would be attacked again by Finn Balor, who would then later on come out onto the stage and basically proclaim that this match was not going to happen. The open challenge wouldn't happen because the only t person that's going to take the title from Seth is Finn himself at Money in the Bank, which does make sense. But again... You could have had two opportunities at the World Heavyweight title. Dunno. This is Things You Might Have Missed from Monday Night Raw. A stacked Raw, to be fair. Like the video, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. Tommaso Ciampa returned to Monday Night Raw this week. Ciampa would come to the ring and confront and fight The Miz in the opening match of Raw. Honestly, really good to see Ciampa back. He's been gone for freaking so long. WWE would say The Miz didn't text Ciampa during his injury, etc. That's why Ciampa was angry with Miz. It would be Ciampa's No One Will Survive theme song that would be played when he made his entrance which I thought was a nice touch. Really nostalgic to hear that. Love that. Lots of fans now hoping for a possible DIY reunion in the future, which I think would be pretty cool if we can do that. Lots of stories to be told. Champa, obviously successful in his return tonight. Fighting The Miz. Love to see it. The other return, however, no secrets told at all. Picture cannot lie. Logan Paul is in the men's money in the bank. He went to WWE executives and got himself added to the match, because of course he did. We would then have the money in the bank men's participants come to the ring one by one, confronting Logan Paul. Now, you got to say the best one of this was LA Knight coming out, basically saying he'd drawn up a map and the map would guide LA Knight, basically where to shove his prime bottles. Yeah, I love that. And what a thunderous ovation for LA Knight for a non-scheduled appearance on Raw. Brilliant. But I've got to say, my favourite was Butch. No microphone in hand. No microphone needed. Butch did what the Brits do best. And that's punch Logan Paul in the face. I'm telling you now, for that and for that alone, Butch deserves to win the men's money in the bank. The Brit winning it in London would make so much sense. It was Logan Paul standing tall tonight. What do you think about Logan Paul being added to the men's money in the bank ladder match? Are you okay with it? Are you expecting him to win it now? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So Sami Zayn revealed to us tonight that he believes Kevin Owens suffers with Rager Hole. Yep, that's the thing. We would see Kevin Owens get cold water spilt on him. We saw him nearly lose his call with Matt Riddle. I mean, who? I don't blame him. Riddle thought he was a child actor by the sounds of it. But honestly, this whole raging Kevin Owens gimmick they've got going on is freaking brilliant. These little backstage skits are really funny and cool. WWE would have Cody come out to cut a promo. The cast was on the arm after the backstage promo last week, where fans noticed it wasn't. But he would announce that he would accept the Judgment Day's challenge for a six-man tag later on tonight. He would find two mystery opponents. And of course, the fact that this was done in front of the fans, I really think WWE should do this more. The visual, the crowd reaction, everything just makes these segments feel a lot better when they're done in front of fans. Cedric Alexander and Sheldon Benjamin got their match tonight against Indusheer after the non-contest that happened the other week. I love the fact they had a little bit of momentum at the start and then just immediately got destroyed by Indusheer. That was always going to happen. Veer and Sanga look absolutely menacing as a tag team. Really cool match. One of the big write-ups for Raw this week was that Matt Riddle was seeking to snap the leg of Ludwig Kaiser like he did Giovanni Vinci. The match was on, Riddle would be successful, but then the IC champion Gunter would come into the ring and the beat down on Riddle focused on his leg would be on. And I kind of don't have sympathy here because this would have happened to Ludwig Kaiser. This was Riddle's intention to him. I don't know. Why are we meant to feel sorry for a baby face when the baby face was going to do this to the hill? I don't know. 
It was a good night, however, for Caden Carter and Katana Chance as they got their first victory on Raw tonight over Chelsea Green and Sonia Deville. We did get this weird TikTok thing with Chelsea Green exposing her as a Karen. I don't really know what was going on here, I'll be completely honest, but... I mean, it was interesting and a lot of it was funny. I don't actually know if these are real TikToks. Someone let me know in the comments down below because I don't use TikTok, but I think that's quite funny. The Viking Raiders defeated the Alpha Academy tonight. And honestly, Chad Gable looked a million dollars. Is there anything in WWE Chad Gable can't do? There was a monster suplex from Otis to Ivar. There was a suplex to a monster as Maxine suplexed Valhalla. I don't think this loss hurts the Alpha Academy. I think they're going to set up for probably a mixed six-person tag. Kind of makes sense in this feud. Natalia did not get her rematch tonight as Rhea Ripley with the pre-match beatdown stopped her getting that chance. Everyone was absolutely devastated as carnage and destruction of Natalia was on. We then got a stare down between Rhea and Raquel seconds before Raquel would go to the ring to face off with Hall of Famer Trish Stratus to qualify for Money in the Bank. But with R Becky Lynch coming out, this was the ultimate difference maker. Neutralizing Zoe, but attacking Trish, leading to Raquel not qualifying. Which means because of Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus has qualified for the sixth spot in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh boy, poor Becky. But I did love the camel clutch by Trish. Literally thought that was a nice little touch. Obviously recently lost the Iron Sheik. This was his signature finishing move. Also Trish wearing the Hall of Fame ring as she did it too. Former NXT champion Bron Breaker was on Raw this week. Oh boy, do you know what? He looked like he belonged, didn't he? As we're still meant to be getting the match tomorrow night on NXT Gold Rush. Bron versus Seth. And Bron claims he's the next heavyweight champion. Cannot wait for that. Kind of roles reversed from last week. Ricochet would come out tonight during Shinsuke's match with Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed was successful, but the story was the problems between Ricochet and Nakamura were exaggerated again. you got to think, come Money in the Bank, probably afterwards they're going to go into a proper rivalry with this. My heart is broken. It nearly happened. Akira Tozawa and Cody Rhodes, the tag team we never knew we needed. Cody would say he loved Akira Tozawa's hair, but nonetheless, it didn't happen. Tozawa was not Cody's opponent. Instead, Cody would team with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for the main event versus the Judgment Day. There would be very loud Dom is a pussy chance during the main event tonight, which I thought was quite funny. Unfortunately for Dom, KO had been bottling up loads of rage tonight. He decided to take it all out on Dom. Look at Mummy's face when KO hit him with a cannonball. Oh my god. It would be a halluva kick to Dom and a stunner to Dom. Poor Dom, man. And then a crossroads to Damian Priest, allowing Team Cody to win the match. I really enjoyed this week's Raw. Lots of storyline progression, which I think was needed across the board. So for me, 7 out of 10s, I think, is very fair. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Never miss another upload. Like the video. Share the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace!